for joining me today here in the Bourbon Bar. Today I'm going to be reviewing George Remus. It is a, this is a barrel select, a single barrel from my local Binnie's. And I got to be honest, I haven't seen much around at all. Um, I've seen, well, let me start with what I have seen just because it is kind of harder to find. Um, a couple of liquor stores get them from time to time and they're usually barrel select. There is a standard Remus that I believe is like, it's not a barrel proof one. It's like 90 or 100 proof and that one's pretty available and that one's around 40 bucks. But barrel selects and single barrels, barrel proof, stuff like that is obviously stuff that I am more interested in. And I think is stuff that most of you guys are looking for more information on anyways. So I'll start with uh, my little fancy glass here. Get a nice swirl going, see if I can build up some legs. Um, really quick, it is a five year age and finished in space side uh, scotch barrels. So it definitely kind of interesting and something you won't see and everything else. Um, I guess if I can get the specifics here for you, single barrel, specially selected by Binnie's, barrel number 450, and this is a 2021 selection. There was a few different uh, variations when I bought this one and the notes on this one intrigued me more than the others, not to mention it was the highest proof. So. Go figure, right? I go big or go home. I believe I got it on sale for like 50 bucks, but it's still a $65 bottle and um, not super easy to find, unfortunately. Again, the regular Remus is a little more attainable, but this one is definitely a, little, a tougher find. When you find it, get it. Great legs, nice, rich, uh, yeah, nice gold copper color. The nose is amazing. You get vanilla, caramel, raisin. A little pear, a little toasted oak. And then some baking spice. Those are some gorgeous legs. They're really, really nice. All right. That's an awesome palette. I'm a huge fan of this. I, I gotta get more Remus for myself. Um, in the future, I'll definitely be adding some more to the collection. Um, just really awesome. I mean, vanilla, caramel, some sweet red fruit, plum. Plum is the one I get the most of. There's another red fruit that I'm just completely, completely blanking out on. I wish I had someone here to bounce an idea off, but it's like a sweet red fruit that has just a touch of tartness. There's a few red fruits like that. And I don't know, plum off the, off the cuff is the best one I can think of, think of, but there's a few others. It's just keep that in mind. You'll have the kind of acidic sweet with a subtle tart finish for the red fruit. But it's so good. The whole mouth feel is thick, oily, viscous. Um, there's a little bit of honey and then it gets, it coats the mouth really nicely. And when you get the baking spice and when you get the little tart and acidity and then you get a little more spice, the whole ride through, there's a good amount of that viscous brown sugar that just stays on your mouth and it doesn't let anything get out of control. It stays balanced the whole ride and the whole evolution through. That's so good. All right, let me get back into it, see if there's anything else I've missed. The upfront mouthfeel and taste is so good. I get distracted, I can't, I mean, the end, the finish is very simple, sweet, Subtle baking spice, and then just remains sweet until it completely fades off the tongue, but that's fine, that's good. It's a simple finish. It doesn't have to be, you know, finishes don't have to be 10, 15 different flavors or notes to be, you know, good. If you can have two or three tasting notes and just a, a smooth ride and transition and a nice fade out, that's, that's money. This is an awesome finish. 
and it keeps, like I said, I keep getting caught in the front with those like plum, caramel, vanilla, brown sugars, and sweet fruits up front. And then by the time you're like semi done processing, you're still getting them. Like, oh shit, I'm about to be finished with this. And it just remains sweet and smooth. And you get like allspice, like baking spice, but not, it, it never, it's not like a, I'm gonna make a bad example here, but like a general rye finish where you get the peppery spice and then it dries, and then it gets dry and oaky. Once you start to get that spice, it never keeps going into dry and oaky. It, it like gets pulled back down by the caramely sweetness and brown sugars and just, it's such an awesome ride. If you like sweet bourbon and not like, you know, not artificially crappy fake sweet bourbon, like just in general, if you like sweet notes in your bourbon, like Buffalo Trace products, I think you're strongly, strongly gonna like this Remus. This is an awesome bourbon. Um, that be said, more to come and uh, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to check me out on the TikTok and the Instagram account. And uh, there is a public Facebook and just a couple other ways for you to get in touch with me and let me know what your thoughts are in my reviews or if there's something that you're looking to be reviewed in the near future. Thank you guys, have a great night.